As winter is in, so the cauliflower. So let's do something special with cauliflower today. Hello and welcome back to Cooking Story. And this is Smith. So let's begin today's recipe and check the ingredients to make this yummy cauliflower recipe. And the ingredients are cauliflower florets, sugar, salt, cumin powder, garam masala powder, ginger and green chilies, cashew, cream. Now let's begin today's recipe. First, take a pan and add 4 tablespoons of oil into it. Wash, floor it and put it into the oil. Fry it with little salt until it turns light golden from all the sides in a medium flame. While cutting the cauliflower florets, keep in mind it should be a big size chunk pieces. Next, in the mixer grinder, add 50 grams of cashew, 2 to 3 green chilies, and few ginger stick. Add little water and make a fine paste so as to make the gravy of our recipe. Now, let us shake the cauliflower, it's almost done. Remove it from the pan and keep aside for the later part of the recipe. Once you remove the fried florid from the pan into that same oil, add 1 4 teaspoon of cumin seed, 2 bay leaves and now add the paste which you have done just now. Once you drop in the paste into that same mixer grinder, add half cup of water, wash it so that nothing go waste. Then stir it well in a very low flame. After adding water, we will add salt as per your taste. 1 teaspoon of sugar, though you can adjust the sugar according to your taste bud. And 1 teaspoon of cumin powder. Stir it quickly so that it doesn't stick at the bottom of the pan. Now once the masala are well mixed with the gravy, then add half a cup of water so that the gravy becomes little thin. Then into it add half cup of fresh cream. You can add any brand cream which are available near your place. Then add the fried cauliflower florid and let it cook for 8 to 10 minutes until 90% of the cauliflower are done in a very low flame. Though remember, while the cauliflower are cooking, you need to stir it between so that it doesn't stick at the bottom of the pan. And in case you need water, you can also add water. Now you can see that 90% of the cauliflower are done and it's looking so yummy and delicious. At this point of time, we will add 1 4 teaspoon of garam masala powder and half teaspoon of kasuri methi from above. Again, stir it well and let it cook for 4 to 5 minutes so that the masala get well absorbed with the gravy in a very low flame. Now, this cauliflower recipe is just looking marvelous. At this point of time, put off the flame and serve in a serving bowl and enjoy this with roti or paratha. As cauliflower is one of the vegetables I cook most often throughout the winter and early spring, I thought now could be a perfect time to highlight some of my best cauliflower recipe with you. So I am sharing this creamy cauliflower recipe today with you and I hope you will love it positively. And if you like it, do come in and share it with your friends and family. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so that whenever I upload a new recipe, you get the notification first. And trust me, you are bound to love this cauliflower recipe. So see you again tomorrow with another interesting recipe. Till then, enjoy cooking story. Bye-bye.